Good evening, NorCal Carters. It is February 7th, 2022. And tonight, I'm really looking forward to this show. So tonight, we're going to talk to four drivers from Northern California. And these are all junior drivers. So I, again, I'm really looking forward to this show. It's kind of uh, a good perspective. You know, a lot of our shows, we've had people my age on and talking about the stuff I wanted to talk about. But now we get to talk to the junior drivers and let them uh, showcase their their uh, abilities here on the live stream. So first up, we have Eric Doan. Eric, how are you doing this evening? Good. How are you? Good. I'm doing great. Great job on the background presentation there. <laughs> Thank you. So why don't you tell everyone real quickly just a little bit about yourself? Uh, well, I'm Eric Doan, and home track is Prairie City, California. Or Prairie home City. track is Prairie City. Okay. And then uh, I just got my first top 10 race or top 10 finish in the national race last week. And where was that? Uh, Tucson. Tucson. So that would have been Challenge of the Americas. Yep. Congratulations on that. Thank you. And then uh, I'm 11 years old and I live in Oak Grove. 11 years it's, old and you live in Oak Grove. Yep. It's right down the street from us. Well, from me. I'm in Galt. <laughs> <laughs> One of our other guests tonight, he's from Galt. But next, so I'm going to drop you down. All right. And then uh, what I'll do is we'll bring on Jacinta Taylor. Good evening. Hi. How are you doing tonight? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. So why don't you uh, give everyone a, a quick background on yourself? I just turned 14 and I race four stroke, two stroke, and I'm a swimmer. I live in Nevada City and my home track is Prairie City. Prairie City. So we have another Prairie City home track. And uh, what kind of swimming do you do? Um, I compete nationally. You're a national level swimmer. Yes. All right. What's your favorite stroke? Butterfly. Butterfly. Really? Okay. All right. So thank you for joining us tonight. And next up, Stephen Isert. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you doing? I'm all right. You're kind of like a veteran on this thing now. Yeah. <laughs> You've already been on once or twice before. And um, fun fact, Stephen and I, we live in the same small town. Yep. Here in Galt. Galt, Galt California. Yep. Yes, sir. So uh, how old are you? And I'm, where is your home track? I'm 14 and my home track is Prairie City. 14 and your home track is Prairie City. Yep. All right. Okay. Our last guest right now is Preston Lambert. Hello. Preston, how are you doing? Pretty good. How about yourself? I'm doing great. So same questions. How yeah. old are you? What's your home uh, track? 14 and uh, Prairie City. Prairie City. Yeah. All right. There's a lot of Prairie City on tonight. Yeah. All right. So what we'll do too later in the show, we will get into uh, where all of you have raced outside of calling Prairie City your home track. And uh, let's get to it. We have Ashley. Ready, Ashley, to do this thing? Yeah, let's go. All right, let's go. All right, and that's our panel. So we have uh, Preston up here in the middle. Ashley, the producer, over on the right-hand side. Steven Eisert staring at the camera. Jacinta Taylor, lower middle. And Eric Doan on the right hand side. So, have any of you besides Icert done one of these before? No. Ashley has done one. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Preston, have you done one of these yet? No. Uh, maybe tilt your camera. There you go. No, you're ahead of me. Eric, you've done like 10 or 20 of these, right? No. Okay. So, Steven Icert's are our veteran junior driver. So uh, outside of uh, Eric, most of you are running what Hunter CC junior and the Briggs and Stratton package, correct? Yep. And Eric, why don't you tell everyone what you run? I run mini Swift and junior one. Mini Swift and junior one. 
great job. So, uh, let's see here. Since we have Preston kind of right in the middle, let, let's put Preston on the uh, spot here. Anything exciting happened in the last couple of weeks? Uh, pretty exciting, yeah. <laughs> uh, pretty exciting? Yeah, it's pretty cool. How, how'd that go? Oh, it went really good. Saturday we struggled a little bit, but Sunday we managed to get it done. So, yeah. Did you hit anything on Saturday? Um, No. No. <laughs> Everything. No. Oh, yeah, yeah. No. Uh, this is kind of clean. It was kind of <laughs> clean. But then Sunday, you came home with a big win. Yeah. Um, yeah. We qualified third, so we started off good, and then the pre-final we got shuffled back to eighth, I think. Okay. And then the final we drove from eighth to first. So. From eighth yeah. to first in the final. Yeah. Passed along uh, Parker DeLondra on the outside. For the for the lead, on what lap? Uh, second to last lap. So coming second up on the last lap, you passed him on the outside. Yeah. Wow. Fantastic. And what what kind of equipment are you running? Oh, I'm running the Track Magic GFC, um, on a P1 Engines engine. So, yeah. Very cool. So that was your exciting. That was your exciting uh, past couple of weeks. Yeah, pretty much. All right. Jacinta, so I I know you from uh, – uh, I don't want to remove you. Hold on for a second. There you go. Uh, so I, I've seen you at the Sonoma racetrack. You race up there in the 100cc stuff. How long have you been karting? This is my second year, starting my second year. Starting your second year. So mm-hmm. you're, you're fairly a, a newcomer. Yes. And you've been doing a lot of driving. A lot. <laughs> A lot. Yeah, it seems like uh, when I go out to Prairie City, you're out there a number of different times. Uh, every race last year at Sonoma, you were out there. Uh, yeah. Tell us about some of your karting experience. Um, I don't know. There's a lot of new stuff happening. Um, I've been to one big race, went to Supernas this year. It was pretty crazy, but it was a great experience, and I'm glad I did it this year and not this next coming year. So I have more experience for this year. Um, I don't have any wins, sadly, but I think I'll, I'll get there eventually. So, well, how do you, do how do you get there. into racing, Jacinta? How do you find how do you find out about racing? Um, I went on vacation in Florida and I did the rental carts, and I liked it a lot. So when I came back, I got a go kart. All right, rental carts. Now, was it was it like a Orlando Cart Center type rental cart, or was it more of yeah. a concession cart? No, it was like a Orlando Center. It oh, was okay. really slow, and <laughs> I was not. Ex- I did not expect whatever I was driving to be as fast as it was. But <laughs> oh, we have okay. So we have a comment. It says that you won Davis KPX. True. Maybe. Maybe <laughs> you're not sure. Yeah, Did you forget about that? I won. I won that race because Stephen took Valentino out. So because what? <laughs> Stephen took Valentino out in the last corner. What? Oh look, Stephen Our one and like only he's Stephen about to unmute right out. now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come on, Stephen. Explain yourself. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to bring Stephen up. Why? Why? So what happened? Yeah, why? What happened? Um, I don't know. I just went for the late dive bomb in the hairpin and just hit him, and we both stopped, and just Santa just went right around us. Oh, so you you weren't even penalized? She just drove around you. No, I got DQ'd. Oh, you got so. DQ'd as well, and she drove. And around she you? drove around me. Yes. Oh, okay. Mean Jason, pull so, the band aid off. Why? <laughs> All right. So she was in the right spot to capitalize on Steven's mistake. You were trying yeah. that eight wheel break- braking technique, weren't you? Yeah. Yeah, it didn't really work out, did it? Yeah, I was pretty desperate since, like, in the last race, I was running two classes. In the last race, I, my engine died coming out of the last corner I was leading. So I was kind of mad. So. All right. So you took your frustration out on a competitor. 
Yeah, and my yeah. teammate. Oh, and your <laughs> teammate. my teammate, yes. Are you still teammates? No. No. <laughs> That's not the reason, though. That's not the reason. Though. All right. Hold on. We're going to go back to Jacinta. Jacinta, who are you? Who is your team? Who are you running with this year? Or are, are you guys just doing your own thing? We are kind of doing our own thing right now, but last year I ran CRG. Okay. Excellent. For, yeah, last year I ran CRG for a two stroke and for four stroke I did a VLRs with Nevada Car Sport. All right. Cool. Cool. All right. Um, I don't think we asked, uh, we didn't ask Eric Perfect. what his equipment was. Oh, yeah. Eric, come back on. Tell us. Hi. So I run Burrell with West Coast Karting. Okay. Carl and Anthony. Great team. Tell them to stock their trailer f with jelly bellies. Please. I wish. <laughs> you wish more like granola bars granola bars they need jelly bellies in their trailer <laughs> if they're listening they, they'll know what that means <laughs> nice all right eric did you tell us um what 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 was your big win this year or this past season well i haven't really had any super big wins i mean i'm the kpx champion for mini swift what? That's pretty awesome. Yeah, I'm pretty happy about that. My first championship that I won ever. <laughs> All right, Anthony Breeze coming back. No jelly belly for your belly. <laughs> My All big right. real finish for this year was uh, in Tucson. I got my first top 10 in a national race. I got eighth in Tucson. Seven. Seventh? Oh, yeah, seventh. Was that your first time to Tucson? That was my first time to Tucson. Yeah, what did you think of the track? Uh, well, especially coming out of turn five, it was really bumpy. But it was super fast and flowy. I liked it. It was fun. You liked I mean, it? I've seen cooler tracks and better tracks, but it was fun. It was fun. It, quite different than Prairie City, isn't it? Yeah. Prairie City has a ton of hard braking zones. That one was, there was two braking zones or three braking zones in that track for us. Three braking zones in your class? Yeah. Yeah. Let's see right. class. Let's bring everyone up on the camera at the same, or same screen here. There we go. So Tucson for Eric. And we know Preston Lambert was in Tucson. Jacinta, have you been to Tucson? I have not. I was at a swim meet that weekend. You were at a swim meet that weekend. Yes. Which swim meet? Um, just a club. I guess it was it's not like a club meet, but it's a just a meet to get some times. It wasn't really a national meet or anything. Oh, just a place for your. Was it called C? Just time to get some. Just yeah, just to get some better times. Okay. So if you had to pick. In so the future, we have a question, a starting event or, or swimming, what would you pick? Oh, sorry, can you say that again? If you had to pick one or the other, swimming or karting, what would you pick? No wrong depends. answer. Depends. Depends on where the swimming is, and depends on where the karting. Oh, that's a good. It point. depends. Good answer. good answer. And then, since right. you're already talking, let's go to uh, what's your favorite track and why? Um, Arizona, Phoenix. Phoenix? Yes. Why? It was just the Daytona turn. It was fun. Daytona turn. So that would be at the end of the straightaway. The right-hander? Yeah. Yeah. Or left-hander, depending on which direction you're going. Oh, that's true. Yeah. So Phoenix. How about you, Eric? What's your favorite track? Um, My favorite track is... I like Prairie City and Reno. They both have big, like drops down the hill super fun ton of hard breaking zones and uh, not really that many hard breaking zones for reno but on prairie city there's hard breaking zones and fast corners it's just kind of a balance of everything and i like tracks like that and steven what's your favorite track 
Um, I'd have to say either Sonoma or Phoenix. Just I like fast tracks, but they're kind of technical. So. Yeah. All right, Preston. I'm gonna have to say Utah. It's one of my favorite tracks. It's super fun, super fast, and it's fun. Wow. All right. I'm sorry, I muted my mic because my wife Favorite. started printing on our printer. <laughs> In his right tracks. Me. So what's crazy is a few of these tracks, I mean, only one, two, I think, were, were all NorCal tracks, but the rest of them were all out of state. Drivers prefer. Okay. Let's go back to Jacinta. For you were talking about the Supernats, and I know Preston's been down to Vegas. Uh, Icer's been down to Vegas. Eric, have you been to Vegas? You have been. Yeah, That's right. You I, went, your top I went 10. to Vegas this year. Yeah. It was, or last year. It, let's so just, just say it was eventful. It was what? Eventful. Eventful. Yeah. So Jacinta, Vegas this year was your first time going. And um, sorry, sorry, Ashley. I have control issues. <laughs> so your first experience in Las Vegas. And what what would you tell yourself ahead of time if you knew you were going down how would you prep yourself for vegas being for those that don't know i mean that's it's just just the pinnacle of american karting and it's not just a big race it's just a huge event and for a lot of people it's overwhelming so how would you prepare yourself differently next time make sure you read everything and know where everything is read everything and know where everything is yes it, it, from including the bathrooms Including oh, the bathroom. Including the bathrooms. Yes. Yeah. Uh, hold on. I'm going to uh, hold on for a second. All right. So we had a question come in. Do you do drivers prefer four strokes or two strokes for those that have driven both? So Jacinta's up top. We can start with Jacinta. Do you prefer a four stroke or a two stroke? Um, four stroke right now. Okay. Uh, Steven. Um, you know, I'd probably choose two stroke most of the time, but maybe at like Prairie City, Davis, like some tighter technical tracks, I'd choose a four stroke. Just because a two strokes just too fast for those type of tracks, it's not fun. Eh. I mean, it's fun to drive, but not as fun as the four stroke. All right, interesting. Okay, Preston. I'm not a fan of long mowers. <laughs> I like two strokes. Okay, um, Eric, two stroke or four stroke? Two stroke all the way. <laughs> Two stroke is faster and four stroke is slower. And everybody knows in go-karting, the faster the better. Yes. So. Connor's bald spot. Preston's biased. <laughs> Why is Preston biased here? Because he doesn't like. How many of you have driven a shifter cart? Three of you. Too short for that. Too short for that. Preston. Yeah. How was your shifter card experience? Um, me, well, me and Ethan Boer, well, it's their 80, but me and him kind of drive it whenever he drives it. So we've been doing that a lot. And yeah, it's pretty fun. Have you ever tried doing a donut? Um, there's actually a video on Instagram. Yes. And there's and, actually a video on Instagram. And Pat's Acres. And, and Pat's Acres. And then there's one at Perk City. So that must have been for the Track Magic Rally. Yep. Yep. That was a, yeah, that was a fun experience. Jacinta, how, how is that shifter cart? Not fun. I'm not good at it. It's horrible. Not fun? What did no. you like about it? Having to think of lots of things at once. Too technical. 
Do you think it just gets too much with the with the shifting the gears and making sure you're in the right gear and setting up for the corners? Is yeah. But then you only have a year in karting, so <laughs> there is that. <laughs> Steven. Steven Iser. How was your shift of card experience? Um, I mean it was okay. I liked the speed. I like shifting and everything. I was just really short for the cart, so it was hard to drive. I could so do was like this recently or a while ago? A couple months ago. Couple I was in Seth ago. Huntley's cart, so he's like way taller than me, so it's he he's fitted for the cart more than I am. Got it. So since we're since we're talking about shifters, Prairie City, that seems to be everybody's home track. April third is the ADCC shifter takeover. At Prairie City. Put it on your calendar. <laughs> Might have to do that. You'll have to do that. All right. We have a question for Eric. Eric, how have you progressed over the last year? Um, I think I've progressed a lot coming from especially Willow Springs. So we went down to Willow Springs for the Scusa Pro Kart Challenge. And... Mm -hmm. We really had no business being there. We were slow, back of the pack, spun out in both races, dead last. I pulled off the track at the very end because I was so far behind and losing ground. It was just not fast enough for that. And then we skipped Fontana for a little more practice. And then we went to Supernats, and I almost made the main. So pretty happy about that. Yeah. And then I just got what happened in Tucson. So I think I've progressed a lot. Yeah. And you're a champion too. Yeah. <laughs> all right. All right. I have to ask this question to all of you. Who likes green peas? <laughs> thumbs up or thumbs down? <laughs> Just sent us like, I'm not answering that. No, no comment. <laughs> my mom makes me eat my vegetables, so. Okay. Preston was a thumbs Same down. I think Steven's headphones are broken. No. So, in the future, we know Eric and we know Jacinta can possibly have green bean sponsors or green pea sponsors. Because <laughs> Eric was like a thumbs up and Jacinta was just like, I'm not going to answer that. I don't know who's watching this. <laughs> <laughs> that could be a potential sponsor. Who likes Bushi? Right? It's like, do we eat fake Newtons? But the windshield is available. All right. Who likes sushi? No? Thumb okay, we got we got a no, no. Just yes, yes. a yes. So we're Pat, even. Uh, Preston's a yes. Steven? Right. No. Are you our picky eater, Steven? Kind of, yeah. Yeah, I mean, okay. I only eat certain things sometimes. Just, I mean. So you're the kid to track with the plain cheese pizza with no sauce. Is that you? Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> oh, Nailed it. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> That's not right. <laughs> <laughs> That's not pizza. But, and whenever I, like, uh, order a burger or something, I'll only, like, order ketchup only with cheese. That's so, also the plain. You're the plain guy. Plain, just ketchup and cheese. Yeah, I mean, I'll <laughs> eat it. No I just prefer just it. bread with cheese. Yeah. <laughs> so, since all of you travel when you go to the races, uh, even though Prairie City's you know the home track, but you you guys have a lot of traveling experience. Jacinta, you can you can use the swimming one on this as well, since you're a national level swimmer. This is my personal favorite question. When you're on the road heading to or from the track, where is your favorite food stop? We'll start with Steven. Probably whenever I go to Dixon, we usually go to like Burgerlicious. It's in Rio Vista. It's really good. Burgerlicious. And I know that spot. Yeah, and then when we go to Prairie City, we'll stop in um, Wilton for some Pizza Bell. It's really good. Not Fat Mike's? Mm-mm. 
No, uh, you're a pizza bell guy. All right. Yeah. Well, I'm a fa- I'm a fat Mike's guy. <laughs> <laughs> Eric. In and out. In from the track. In and out. In, in and out. What is it? With in and out? <laughs> All the way. On the last show, everyone said in and out except for me. In and out. In and out. You're like you're not even gonna. Okay. What you, what do you uh, order in and out? Cheeseburger with fries. Just a single, single cheeseburger. Single cheeseburger with fries. With fries. All right. And like a pink lemonade or something. And a pink lemonade. That's all right. That sounds so good right now. <laughs> I know, right? All right. Maybe maybe I could go for a double single. <laughs> all right, Preston. Your turn. Oh, well, whenever we go up to SoCal, I like stopping at the in and out there. Oh. Like on the way. I have to say it. That is the best. <laughs> In and out. Nice. Nice. All right. Jacinta. Jacinta, you're up. Starbucks. Oh, that's Starbucks. Your, that's your favorite food place on the road? Yes. Why? I'm I'm really curious about that one. Because of the chocolate croissants, obviously. The, the best. Chocolate croissants. Yeah. All right. That's awesome. I wouldn't have thought Starbucks. <laughs> I don't think of them as a food place. Hmm. All right, Nico Charpanti wants to know your guys' favorite food. All right, let's start with Jacinta. Sushi. Sushi. Nice. All right, Preston. Burgers. Plain burgers made from che- home cheeseburgers, like cheeseburgers, you know, regular burgers. I don't know. <laughs> All right, Eric. Street taco. Oh, taco. Street All right. taco. All the way. That's mine. That's mine too, I think. All right, Steven. Um, I would have to yeah. say burgers or pizza. Burgers. And it has to be plain. <laughs> Okay, so what do you get on your pizza, Steven? Um, well, Nothing. Some, sometimes, <laughs> if it's my choice, I'll order, like, a pepperoni or a cheese. But my dad orders, like, um, it has sausage, olives, mushrooms, pepperoni, <laughs> ham. It has everything on it. That's funny. <laughs> so... It's good as long as it doesn't have, like, pineapple or something on it. Hey, Steven, I think we call those meat lovers. Yeah. Yeah. Everything but the mushrooms. I hate mushrooms. (laughs) Did we get Eric's favorite food? Huh? We got Eric's favorite food? Street tacos. We did. Street tacos. All right. Ice cream flavors. Jacinta, go ahead. Start. You're up top. Rocky Road or Sesame. Interesting. I like Rocky Road. Those are two very different flavors, but interesting. All right, Preston. I'm going to have to say cookies and cream. Mm, Okay. All right. Your classic guy, Eric. I like Cherry's Jubilee and Rainbow Sherbet. Okay. All right. Variety here, Steven. Probably cookies and cream or cookie dough. It's really good. Perfect. Yeah. All right. All right I'm going to segue this thing off of food. Go ahead. <laughs> All right. So we, we have a question here from Gear Nuts. There are so many sports to choose from at your ages. How did each of you end up behind the wheel of a race cart? Are your friends, like in, like in school, you do what? So we already heard from Jacinta. So Jacinta said she got involved at a rental cart place in Florida. But she's a national level swimmer. Yeah. What do your friends say when you tell them that you race go-karts? That's for you, Jacinta. Yeah. Um, my most like asked question is how fast do you go? So yeah. they, they don't really say anything about it. It's just, yeah. What answer do you give I don't them? Like talk to people. Yeah. What do you tell them? Fast. <laughs> I don't really talk to many people, so. 
All right. Are you, are you that dedicated to your sports? Where you're that focused? I don't have time for friends. I'm going to focus. Yeah, are you, pretty much. Are you uber competitive? Yeah. That's good. Yeah. All right, Eric. If you were not racing go-karts, what do you, sport do you think you would be playing? Um, well, I do play other sports. Oh, right now okay. I'm into oh. basketball. Where? And I've played baseball, I've played football. I've played so many sports. I do I've done track or not yet. I really want to. All right. And then when you tell your friends at school that you race go-karts, what do they say? Uh, exactly what just said, that how fast they go. And yeah, I say like around 50, 60. Okay. That's a good one. So All none right. of you lie like me and say 100 miles an hour? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Steven, if you were not racing, would you be playing a different sport? Um, maybe, but I would probably play baseball. I used to play baseball, but it was too hard because all my games were on Saturday and mm. I would go practicing. So I just quit. And now I really like football. I'd probably play football or baseball. Okay. And then when you tell your friends at school that you raise go-karts, what do they say? It, uh, they don't really understand what you do. And it's kind of frustrating because you want, like, you want to tell them that you do something cooler than you actually think they, that they think you do. But they usually ask me, like, um, how fast do you go? Or do you ever crash? So. Yeah. Those are your NASCAR fans. You have a crash? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, Preston, come on up. And would you be playing any other sports if you weren't racing go karts? Um, probably tennis because my mom is a tennis coach, so I'd probably do that because I mean I played that, but I don't play it that much anymore. Okay, we did have a question come on, but I do want to know what your friends say when you tell me race go karts. We oh. want to know why, how you got suspended from i racing. Oh, <laughs> we don't talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely did not get in a wreck with someone. Definitely <laughs> did not, not have, get in a wreck with somebody. May or may not have been my fault. Um, <laughs> that's all I have to say. <laughs> if the glove doesn't fit <laughs> all right um but so what do you tell your friends when they ask you um about carding um they don't really say much they just say oh that's cool and then they usually ask oh how fast or how what's the fastest fastest you've gone and mm -hmm. it's like all oh, they ask pretty much and then like oh okay thank yeah <laughs> All right. You so guys did any of you watch the clash at the Coliseum this weekend? No, Eric did oh. not. Ashley watched it. Jacinta watched did not watch it. Steven, do you watch it? No. Preston? I watched part of it. Like, you watched part of it. Okay. Like we'll ask you real quickly, then we'll move on since you're the only one that watched it besides Ashley and myself. What did you think of it with the short time you watched it? It was very, it's a very tight track. And yep. I feel like it's kind of like a, it's probably decently easy. So racing was pretty tight, but I think it, it looked like a fun track though. It was a good race. It was pretty good racing. What is the clash at the Coliseum? They paved, they put a racetrack inside the LA Coliseum and I think it was a quarter mile. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, yeah, the, the LA Coliseum is like where uh, the USC Trojans play football. And so they leveled it out, paved it, and it, it's only a quarter mile. So it's, so it's not big compared to any of your other tracks, right? And they set it up so that there were groups of 10. And then at the end, the last 10... Um, 
race for the race for the win. Um, but we did have another question come in. Who is your favorite competitors? Who are your favorite competitors? All right, let's go ahead and we'll, we'll start with Preston at the top. And then I'm going to keep scrolling through the comments, okay? So go ahead, Preston. Um, I'm going to have to say I like race of Steven, Christian Cameron. Um, I like race of Chase when I can keep up. Um, yeah, those are like my favorites, I guess. Okay. Eric, who who are your favorite competitors? Um, I like racing against Kaysen Hodge and Matt Gadara. Um, okay. Oh, and Jeremy Hees. Okay. Good ones. Good good call outs. All right, Jacinta. Uh Trenton and Steven. Ethan Boer. That kid gets me so pissed off. Oh my god. Um <laughs> This is a junior show. You can't say that word. <laughs> well, my bad. Um, it's all right. My daughter's uh, in the background going, you say that all the time. Um, so Ethan Boer gets you ticked off all the time. Yeah. So what does he do to get you ticked off? Oh, no. Just I've known him since I started carding, and we've been friends for a while. He's just kind of annoying. He knows how to push your buttons. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. Steven. All right, Steven. We want to know who your favorite competitor is, but then we also had another comment. Who is your nemesis? So give us your favorites and then your nemesis. Um, my favorites are just really whoever races clean and mainly my friends. Because then I know how to race against them, like Preston, Chase, Hand, Trenton, Healy, Jacinta, and yeah. And uh, what was the other question again? Your nemesis. Oh yeah. Um, my nemesis. Is probably. Hmm. Probably like. Probably Trenton Neely because uh, we've we had two championships last year. We were battling each other in, and yeah, that's frustrating. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, he, he won came out one on top won of the, the championships. <laughs> I won one of them, and he won the other. Oh, uh, so you split the yeah. difference. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, Preston, who's your favorite competitor? I think I already answered this one. Yeah, he answered it. Oh, so did we do everyone? Steven. It was Steven, oh. uh, Christian Cameron. You had four of them. Chase Hand. That's right. That's what was right. the fourth one? You don't remember? I don't either. All right. So another question was... Oh, another stat over here about Jacinta. One most improved junior driver from KPX... Shout out. I did not know that, actually. <laughs> did you not go to the banquet? No, I had a swim meet. Oh, I'm seeing a little trend here. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Another question for all of you guys is, who is your favorite F1 and NASCAR driver? Or either or. Favorite F1, NASCAR Anybody who wants to start? Eric, it looks like you have an answer already. Yeah. Um, for Formula One, I like Lando Norris and Max Verstappen. Okay. I'm just big McLaren fans. And who doesn't like Max? <laughs> no. NASCAR. I like Joey Logano. Okay. I don't really watch it that much, but when I do, I always root for him. Okay. I'll allow it. You'll allow it? <laughs> I'll allow it. All right, Steven, your favorite F1 or NASCAR, and or NASCAR driver? Um, For NASCAR, my favorite drivers are Kyle Larson, used to be Jimmy Johnson, Jeff Gordon. 
And for uh, F1, it's Max Verstappen, Landon Norris, and George Russell. All right. Great answers. Good answer, Steven. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Preston. Um, Max Verstappen for F1 and Daniel Ricciardo. And then for NASCAR, I'm going to have to say Kyle Larson. All local right. boy. Yeah, our local oh, yeah. our local guy, Kyle Larson. All right, Jacinta. Lando Norris and Kyle Larson. Yeah. So since we since Jacinta just answered, I'm gonna bring her up on the big screen here. How when you're do you do watch a lot of racing content? And again, since you're a swimmer, we'll talk about the swimming. How do you consume your racing or swimming content as far as watching stuff to improve on, things of interest, etc.? What's your go-to um, source? The TV. I don't the know. Um, yeah. I but just, do you go to like YouTube on the TV or do you use like Netflix or uh, Roku? No. I, I don't know. I just go on the TV. You just go on the TV? <laughs> yeah. And then you just dial through. <laughs> Pretty much. Pretty I guess much. everything's recorded. We have my dad records everything, so I don't have to look anywhere. I just look at my recorded stuff and stare. Oh, there you go. I don't have to do much work. Yeah. That, that's very time saving, actually. <laughs> it is. Steven, how about you? Where do you get your, your racing content or entertainment from? Uh, just YouTube. I would like I like look up um, NASCAR or something, just whatever's on F1, IndyCar. But if I were to watch like karting, I'd always go to YouTube. YouTube. All mm-hmm. right. How about you, Eric? Uh, NorCal Carters, of course. Oh, that's a great answer. And then <laughs> Cart Chaser I use for karting. Okay. And then, they do a great job. Yeah. And then yeah. just. YouTube. In YouTube? Yeah. Racing Entertainment. I go to YouTube TV. And then Formula One TV. So. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Preston. Oh, um, I just opened Instagram and then there's everything I need to know pretty much. So all your news and entertainment comes from Instagram. Well, when I want to like know what happened, like in a race or something, it's usually on Instagram. And then I just go to YouTube to watch races pretty much. Got it. And then since you're on the screen, favorite cart chassis? Uh, GFC, well, Track Magic. For GFC, sure. Track Magic. Yeah. Why? Um, I, it's an amazing cart, works good, and has a re- very good team behind it. So, yeah. That's a good answer. Jacinta, uh-huh. favorite car chassis? Favorite car I've driven so far is an OTK. An OTK? Wow. <laughs> what did you like about the OTK? It's easy to drive and it's super soft. It's driving the OTK compared to the CRG. You have to drive the CRG a lot more than the OTK, I feel like. And then what is the engine package on the OTK when you tried it out? I think it was a VLR. The VLR? So 100, yeah. 100 cc two-stroke? Yeah. Okay. All right. Icer. Steven Icer. You already know it's obviously an OTK. Just so It's obviously just mm. hands down. Yeah. Why is that? Because it's just – it's good on every – if it's good in the it's good in the rain, it's good when it's 105 degrees out. It's good any time of day. It's it's just good all around. You can't go bad on it, and it's really easy to drive and fun. It's fun to drive. Mm-hmm. And Eric, last but not least. Um. Well, I've really only driven two. I've driven a Benic, which I liked. It was flexible and nice, but I like the Braille much more. You like the Burrell much more? The Burrells are just, the rear doesn't move ne- around nearly as much as the other cards do for me. Uh-oh, we have a driver that likes a lot of grip. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when the rear moves, it just, uh, no. Nothing, nothing works. My lap times are like, I don't know, half a second slower. So Connor's bald spot. Me and Eric are Freeline, Ricardo, Burrell, and Charles Leclerc. Yes. So who's Connor's bald spot? Who, who can answer that for me? It's Trent and Healy. It's is Trent it? and Healy, yeah. Is that Trent oh, I've been Healy? wondering who that was forever. And then, who, uh, then who's Connor? Connor, Connor Zilich. That's we, okay. were, we were on a cart chaser uh, live stream before, and he shaved his head, and Trenton, like, made an account, made Connor's bald spot, and took a screenshot of it, and made it his account. Because, <laughs> I mean, that picture is terrific. You see? Yeah. <laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> We're all laughing. He probably has more followers than all of us put together. Connor's bald spot. That'd actually be flattering if someone had a Jason Berry's bald spot profile picture. You have to shave your head first. Then I can screenshot it. Okay. Next week. <laughs> I'll warn your wife now. <laughs> Yeah, my daughter's in the background laughing. She's I'm gonna cut your hair. <laughs> She'll do it too. <laughs> She's actually the one that normally cuts my hair. Nice. All I right. got tired of paying for you know bad twenty dollar haircuts. So now I just pay my daughter twenty bucks for a bad haircut. <laughs> I'm teaching her a life skill. Oh my goodness. Jason Berry's receding hairline. <laughs> I don't know. Is it receding? That's the account. That no, that's how that's the account he wants you to make. That's the account. <laughs> so Do it, Steven. Your account's gonna be Jason Barry's receding hairline. Receding hairline. I'm fine. All right, with who's that. up next and who wants a, what do you guys want to cover? I'm all as long as they subscribe to Norco Carters, you can have as many Jason Berry receding hairlines. Oh, that's actually a good well. promo. If we hit a thousand people, I will shave the middle of my hair and I'll leave it that way for a month. Okay. I'll walk around Galt. I'd do it. Oh with, my with gosh. That, okay, haircut. you guys heard it here. Spread the news. A thousand followers and Jason shaving YouTube. his head. On YouTube. Can't we will live YouTube it once it happens. My daughter will get the clippers and just <laughs> and I'll leave my hair that way for a month. Clippers, I think the razor will work better. Oh, clippers, <laughs> I don't All know right. if I trust my daughter with a razor. <laughs> <laughs> so, are all of you on iRacing or, or racing games? I just have, is like, nope, I don't got time for that. I only got time for real racing and swimming. I got a, I got a PS4. I don't have a PC. I want a PC, though. I might get one. I'm going to try to save up to get one. And then I'll get iRacing and play with Preston. Oh, yeah. If he can play. Yeah, but for now, <laughs> I'm stuck with Gran Turismo and F1. So. Well, I thought I was like high tech because I have a PS3. So I guess not. Yeah, remember when I was like, hey, Jason, we should do a millennial thing. You just yeah. aged yourself. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I need to answer three? millennial millennial vocabulary. Oh, my gosh. When are we going to have a master's podcast? When are we going to have a master's podcast? Uh, Michael. Grab four of your closest master's friends and one enemy, and we'll do a show. It'll have to be in uh, March. So we're booking out March right now because February is already booked. About the sim thing, me and, me and Steven, PS4, Gran Turismo. On the sim racing. Around. Yeah. I yeah. also have uh, WRC 9. And Project Cars 2 and a set of courses. Sorry, right. I was just looking at Michael's What comment. what Press other press games? Break. What other games do you guys play? I can't sit up straight because I'm in my sim rig and it's like a it's like a GT style sim rig. So Oh, so you're lean back. Yeah. Yeah. You have the same one I do. Sick. Or at least the same chair. 
Yeah. All right. So let's start talking about what you guys are looking forward to in this coming season, 22. All right. So Eric, go ahead and start. Um, my real goal for this season is uh, I want to make the main at Supernats this time. Last time I got in time, I was fifth and the top six made it in. So I was, I didn't, I only finished like 13th, but mm-hmm. it was fifth in time. And then um, I also want to get a, a top 10 finish in points and challenge the Americas. I think that's a attainable goal for me, but it's not going to be easy. Competitors are real. Yeah. All How right. are you starting out the season with Challenge of the Americas? What? Okay. How are you starting out the season? How is Tucson? Uh, I got. I finished tenth. All right, and you said you wanted um, to finish top ten. And uh, the championship in points. Yeah. At yep. the end of the weekend, I ended up tenth in points. Nice. So, Good start. That is a good start. Flambert, what about you? Oh, 2022, what are you looking forward to? Just trying to work with the team and improve a little more and get a little faster. And try and win the Cali Rock Championship. And what championship? The Cali Rock Championship. California Rock. Oh, I thought he said Calgary. It's like, when are you going uh, to Canada? Eh? No. No, California <laughs> Rock Championship. Yeah. And then, you know, try and get maybe a top three or top five on the points for Challenge of the Americas. Didn't you win in Tucson? Yeah, but only fifth in the points. But it's, it's going to be close, and there's a lot of really good drivers. Yeah. So I, I know it's going to be tough, but, I mean, I'll try my best and just try and improve. Yeah, representing NorCal. That's right. All these drivers are. All right. Jacinta, what are your plans for 22? I just want to become a better driver overall. I don't really – that's just my goal, to become a better driver, better race craft. Mm -hmm. Where are you going to be uh, racing this year? Where can we see you? Um, I'll be racing – Prairie City and APX. I'll be doing Sonoma and I'll be doing CKNA for a four stroke. I was just about to ask that's that traveling series in the Midwest, correct? Yeah. Yeah. I don't think I'm doing the whole series. I'm just going to go to a few races. Okay. Any specific tracks? I don't know yet. We're not really sure because of all the simming. Okay. All right, Steven, what are your plans for 22? My plans are to win every race I go to and try to win every championship and win Rock Vegas and Supernats. Just every race. Let's do it. That winning mentality. Yep. I think Preston and Jacinta want to make that hard on you. (laughs) Yeah, they're coming for you. That's for sure. (laughs) And try, I'll, try, I'll try my best. <laughs> All right. So we'll be seeing a lot of you guys in Prairie City, it sounds like, in um, a lot of Challenge of the Americas, it sounds like, Sonoma, I heard, Vegas. So you guys will be around this year, which is awesome. And So speaking of Sonoma. Pretty much all of you said the same thing when your friends, oh, what do you do? You can always use the footage from the live Sonoma streams and, you know, bookmark it for when you're on the camera, when you're doing the live stream thing and say, hey, this is what I do. Oh, by the way, that's me. And it's on YouTube. That's a good point. That is a good point. <laughs> All right. If you do something fun and exciting, the announcer may even say something. Yeah. <laughs> we take bribes to Starbucks. <laughs> Life's a grind. <laughs> All right, guys. 
So we have we're coming towards the end. Um, we'll do a quick run through. You guys can plug your teams, um, give your shout outs. If there's anybody you're supposed to say hi to, anything like that, okay? All right, we'll start with Steven. Actually, let, hold on for a second, Stephen. Oh. We're, we're going to close out, but if anyone's uh, on the live stream chat line, if you have final questions or comments, now's the time. Um, I really want to give a huge shout out to um, Speed Sense Motorsports. And my mom's screaming in the other room. I can hear her for some reason. And uh, that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> what's right. on on monday nights on TV? <laughs> shout out i don't know you don't know <laughs> all right eric um i want to give a shout out to uh you guys for putting this on and everybody else for being here and west coast motorsports for supporting me and all the Burrell chassis that want to be with it. Um, yeah. All right. Preston. Um, I want to give a shout out to Gary Carlton, Team GFC, Sonny Cervelli, Track Magic, um, and my mechanic, Vinny, Vinny Cervelli. That's, oh, and my mom, of course. <laughs> she's the, the main sponsor. <laughs> All right, Jacinta. I want to give a shout out to everyone that's helped me this past year. And my dad, who's supposed to be watching this, but is probably sleeping right now. Um, I'm going to have to wake him up and tell him about this. You can send him the YouTube link. Yep. I did. He's supposed to be watching. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for being here. We look forward to seeing you again, you guys again, um, doing your things. And um, Steven winning all the races, apparently. But then Jacinta and, er and, and Preston are going to give him his run for his money. And we look forward to seeing um, where your careers take you in karting, not only... Um, just this year so thank you guys again so much and jason are you gonna um close yeah, i can close start. it up all right guys i'm gonna start dropping you off okay but don't leave yet thank you guys for right. this. Thank, you. thank you thank you all right so there's there's a sample of norcal carter's junior drivers that was a lot of fun. Uh, didn't really know how it would go, but they all did an excellent job. And they, they're they in the background right now, so they can hear me. So this is an open invite. When they want to come on in about six months, give us an update on their racing program and uh, how things are progressing and some highlights that have happened in 2022. Uh, and again, it's it was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. So uh, Ashley, do you have any closing comments? Um, I do. So Nico, yes, you can definitely be on our next one. Hit us up. Let us know. Um, second, next week or yeah, next week, Valentine's Day, we are doing couples in carding. So if you are in carding together, if you both like it, anything like that, um, we're talking to couples in carding. So let us know. And we're also going to be finishing out um, February with a um, mechanics show, NorCal Mechanics. So tag them, let us know who you want, and we'll try and get them on the show. Uh, yep, you can be on the next one too. Let us know. <laughs> so yeah, let us know if you want to talk about carding. Come on our show. Peace, NorCal. All right. And again, that is our NorCal Carter's junior drivers. And uh, a lot of a lot of people towards the end were asking, can I be on the next one? Same. So this is how we work it at NorCal Carter's. You need to like our Facebook page. You need to like our Instagram page. 
we've been sending out the junior promos for a couple of weeks now with invites to join the show. So if you're not following us on Instagram or Facebook and you miss those posts, then we don't know if you're interested in coming on or not. So again, anytime we post anything on NorCal Carters, this channel is for the racers. If there's content you're looking for, if you want to be a guest, always send us a message. And remember, if all of us just get one person into the sport this year, we will double by this time next year. Thanks again for everyone that tuned in and until next week.